We're here tonight to look at the timing on the Ford 9600. It's a six cylinder diesel, 401 cubic inch, turbocharged. This is the one that we said about how it always blew black smoke and had no power. We turned the fuel up, um, did not help. So what I've done now, I've actually, in a timing hole, if you can see that or not, in there is a zero. So we're at zero right now. What I've noticed, after turning this over several times and the marks wouldn't line up, I've noticed that every other time this mark right here on the injection pump lines up where about where it ought to be. So does this gear on the right and the crankshaft. Now this time when I stopped just by luck you can see this gear actually also lined up. Now what we're looking at, problem I see, here's another one of the marks. And then another one is over here towards the injection pump but it does not line up with anything either. What I think is wrong, this middle gear right here, I think the orientation is not correct. I think this gear is correct. I think the crankshaft, of course, is correct. But I think if this gear was turned so those marks actually lined up, which these two close marks here and there would actually go there and there, this mark down here needs to go up there. I think if that was done, it would be correct. Uh, the other part of the timing is when you turn that to 23 degrees, which I'll do, we have a three-quarter ratchet on the end of the crankshaft. Just turn that a little bit till it lines up. Okay, that's roughly 23 degrees. You can see there's a pink mark that we have there, which is right about 23 degrees. Now, on the pump, there's also two marks on the front. and they are very close to being lined up. On the back of the pump we have a mark up here. I get my flashlight shining in the right spot. And then we also have a V groove down here on there. They are very close to being lined up. So at 23 degrees the pump is lined up with the crankshaft. Um, I really do believe once we get if we take that gear off and turn it so that it matches all the punch marks actually mar match these other ones I think we are going to find out by the way it looks that this gear is one tooth off. just wanted to put that online so everybody could see what the timing marks on the Ford 9600 look like. Uh, tomorrow night I'll probably do another video of actually what happens when we take this gear off and turn it so it's orientated correctly. Um, I did find out you can turn it over one time and, and this mark will be over here 180 degrees out. That mark is over there it's 180 degrees out and of course the crankshaft every revolution comes back to the exact same spot. But then when you turn it over again then these, this mark here on the injection pump and of course that one on that gear and, and down here on the crankshaft are back about where they ought to be. But I think once we turn that gear, get it orientated correctly, I think we'll be able to actually set the timing.